All right, behind the scenes of breaking the news fact for you. This show is nothing without its senior producer, Nikki Young. She inspires us, makes us laugh, and strives to make us better every day. Her one true joy in life, however, and I'm not kidding, is Game of Thrones. So when we got word that the throne would be at the Final Four party this morning, well, we took the show on the road for her. Game of Thrones is Nikki's passion. Mine is basketball. How fitting they have met in our hometown. What does this have to do with basketball? Nothing, but you know what? Don't care. <laughs> For a solid set of minutes, Nikki tried to explain the throne game to me with show props and costumes. And for a solid set of minutes, I tried to lure her with my own game. Show off. We tried to find common ground on what to me seemed to be a very uncommon chair. Does water come out? Is this a ride? Her reaction to it was far more reverent, giving said chair its proper respect, she said. But for me, the reason for the season had to remain front and center. This is a basketball. Yeah, and what do you know about basketball? Uh, it's a sport with a ball, sport ball. And while she was far more entertained by the costumes of her throne people, we agreed to settle the score of our difference over a Game of Thrones shootout. <laughs> A shootout, I was heavily favored to win, but as luck would have it. Nobody likes Game of Thrones! <laughs> the underdog, or whatever Nikki was dressed as, prevailed, and I was left to do what any good loser does to a winner take the final shot that didn't even count. deem it the final say. Basically like Nikki won the popular vote and I was the electoral college there at the end. <laughs> All right, if you want to check out Fan Fest, it does run every day through Monday. An adult ticket is $10. Kids under 12 are free. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of fun stuff there for kids. So check it out if you can. We'll be right back.